Here I am at Phoenix Ceramic and Fire Supply. We're over in the Eureka area in California. So I just found out this is called the Creamery District, this area here. So it's pretty funky. We're going to go inside and check them out. So those of you in the area, this would be where you get your supplies. Come on in. Alright, so first walk in and we've got a whole bunch of glazes, some Laguna glazes, some of Mako stoneware. Sell it on blue, one of my favorites. And then blue hydrangea, another favorite. So these are all mid-fire. Nice selection of brushes, the hockey brushes. Brush I'm always using, these fan brushes. Some tile boards so you can see the colors. I haven't used the Moroccan mat. Ooh. A lot of glazes. And they have quite a selection of the Amico here in stock. So let's see. Copper red, flambe, ancient jasper. This Albany slip brown is a great one. Teledons. I don't know the Western ceramic colors, but they have these here. Some oxide washes. Ooh, that's a lot of wash for a very good price. So that's good. Mako flux. Some dry materials. Get some of your oxides. And then down here, some glazes for Raku firing more dry material so if you want to make your own red iron oxide wash you can just pick yourself up a little quarter pound of it mix it with water to the consistency of ink and you have a really nice wash that you can brush on and if you're going to do some brush work you want to get a sumi brush so something like this right here and actually these really nice fox and squirrel brushes see this kind of gives you an idea of what your line's going to be and then here's some so you can do all these really great line decoration on your pottery and here's a piece that has it on there and it fluxes a little bit and see how it melts just a tiny bit but that's the beauty of it all all right so glazed tongs let's go this way so there's clay there's a lot of clay here so if you need some laguna clay they have aardvark clay they have a lot of clays b mix 10 they have the five clays too some wood fire clay planet oh, i don't know that clay So we've got kiln stilts. Got a bunch of them over here. Little, some small cones, some large cones, so you can make your cone packs. Kiln posts, kiln shelves. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Is it just me that always breaks their peephole plugs? You can get some extra here. So this is the Scott one in the Olympic style. This will kind of fit everything. It's like a generic one. Minspar. Feldspar. That's actually Custer Feldspar. Anybody need some Custer? I know it's hard to get some places. Some other clays. Got some red art. Some fire clay. Gold art down there. Some ball clay. get some grog. You can always add grog to your clay to make it a sculpture clay if you want to. So they have bags of raw materials, which is fabulous if you want to make your own clay or make your own glazes. And then I told you, didn't I tell you there was a ton of clay here? They've got a lot of these. Yeah. These are all cone tens still in this section. We'll go back to the glazes in a second. I got a little tile board so you can see all the different clays. The cone tens, the cone fives, right here. So they've got a lot to show you. B mix five, you know, that's what we're always using. 
That's a really great clay. So more clay. You just walk down the walk down the clay. It's a grossly bright. So smaller amounts, so you don't have to buy 50 pounds of your raw materials if you don't want to. Ooh, there you go. Instructions if you want to use some CMC gum. Y'all reading that? Screenshot it. <laughs> so you have that information. <laughs> And then some giant amounts of gum and sodium silicate. Paper clay comes in handy. Some more clay and then some decals or decals for our Canadian folks or Brits. So these are overglazed. So you're gonna put these after your glaze fire. And these right here are colored, and then the ones over here are gold. So you can have gold skulls or dragonflies, or those are sweet. Bees, I've done the bees. Very cute. All right, we'll come back up here and see what else. Under glazes, so you can get a pint, or you can get some smaller little four ounce jars. If you like the jungle gems, they got a nice selection of jungle gems and low fire glazes. Now you know the jungle gems are low fire, but you can also do cone five. They'll run, but that's okay. Everybody always asks, where can I get a field guide for Amico right here? So now you know, locals, come, come get your field guide. Stroke and coats, a lot of stroke and coats. Stroke and Coat has a huge firing range. You can do low fire and mid fire. Some of them can even go higher. Some of Laguna's low fire. Oh, long time no see. And then we'll come on down. I tried to stretch it. I can't. You know, I did have clear glance for one stinking mouth. It's a busy place. <laughs> Hello, Kintsugi. But I split it oh, up. I underglaze I decals. Let's see what we got for patterns in here. Hey, <laughs> this yeah, one looks familiar. Not enough. Man. Those are my snowflakes. What else you got? There's some good underglaze decals. The holiday ones in there. Here's some smaller ones. Uh, I've never used the underglaze blade, pencils. It's probably just a little thinner. That's yeah, probably really long. And then we get into yeah. the tools. This is where you can get in trouble because yeah. <laughs> I love tools. My favorite yeah. wire. Right here, pick yourself up. One of those, I like it because the bright green is easy to see. While, Even when you have clay on it, you can find it. And, call it white. and we've got some fluting tools and yeah. some other tools. The sponge on the stick. Almost thought Noelle was here. Is this card exactly like her or something? Not Little uh, squeeze bottles that you can do some slip trailing with or just under glaze painting. Ah, oh, Fettling knife. Let's see. Always looking for tools. Let's see who makes this knife. It's nice. It's a little, a little thick, but it's, it's a good knife. So, some of the mud tool ribs. You gotta get yourself some red mud tool. This, this one right here. Get this rib, and this rib. These are the two that I take. They brought them here for the class I'm teaching. So these are the two ribs that travel with me everywhere I go. I have to have those. Lots of Kemper trimming tools. Ooh, here's some fun things. Some like profile tools. And sponges. Little chamois over there. Some more Dirty Girls. So they have a lot of Dirty Girl tools. So if you like those, which they're really great. Kemper. That's a great rib. Needle tool. So the, the clay shaper, this one's good. It's stiff though, so I like these rubber ones. The little, well they're silicone actually, but they're softer. 
so they're a little easier on wet clay and you can just tell by feeling them see how much that moves compared to this it doesn't really go so these are good for leather hard clay better for your soft clay right here beautiful banding wheel shimpo well nidec now some stamps originally for batik but we can use these in clay all different cutters some of these nice little small rollers stamps and oh these are cool and then you know i really like the csi turntables because they're a really nice economical option if you're just getting into pottery and you don't want to invest a lot of money in a turntable or a banding wheel these are great they have some the rolling pins from poland a little toolkit bucket and all so you can get everything some wooden paddles some rollers texture mats pot lifter the uh lid master and some calipers so they have a lot of stuff in here if you are in the eureka area more it just keeps going bat mate this is great it keeps your bats from wiggling on the wheel and being that wonk that bump 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 that happens it's so good to help preventing that and some more bats we got some plaster ones for forms. So you take your clay and you could drape it over this or you put this on the wheel and then you, you put your ball of clay down and then you just press down and smooth it out. And then other bats. And then look, they have a really sweet little area you can sit, little table and everything. So they've got a lot of things here and thermocouples and other kiln supplies, gloves. So come on down and check it out if you're in the area. They got a little bit of everything. Hi! <laughs> you had a great little shop, I love it. Thank you. All right, so you keep a Phoenix sticker? We do. Oh. We also have a couple things back here. We have a collection of mason stains. Um, and then the lusters, lusters and things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so if somebody wants something you don't have, you could probably order it for them, you right? can, yeah. We do a lot of special ordering. So. Awesome. All right. So here we are. This is why I'm here. Little yeah. PR. Excited for tonight. Right? I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tonight, tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow. So, all right. There we have it. So come on down. Check it out. <laughs>